My name is Mitch Johns, and this is my video lecture on Mr. and Mrs. McKee. For the first part of the lecture, I'm going to be describing each character, and I'm going to be characterizing them and how they are throughout the story. For the second part of the lecture, I'm going to be describing how each character had an impact on the story and what they added to the story. Mrs. McKee was Lucille McKee. On page 30, it says, His wife was shrill, languid, handsome, and horrible. She told me with pride that her husband had photographed her 127 times since they had been married. Mrs. McKee is described as a terrible wife to her husband. Mr. McKee was a pale man, and he was very artistic, and he loved photography. On page 30, it's, Mr. McKee was a pale, feminine man from the flat below. He had just shaved, for there was a white spot of lather on his cheekbone, and he was most respectful in his greeting to everyone in the room. He informed me that he was in the artistic game, and I gathered later that he was a photographer and had made the dim enlargement of Mrs. Wilson's mother, which hovered like an ectoplasm on the wall. Mr. McKee, at heart, was a great man, but he was just drugged down by his wife. The McKees are only in Chapter 2, but they actually add an everlasting effect on the book, more than people might notice. The McKees' presence at Tom's party shows how different Myrtle and Daisy really are, this being that Daisy would never really associate with people like Chester and Lucille McKee, and Myrtle really fits in with them and she talks with them. The McKees represent the shiftless society during that era. Most people didn't really have stable relationships and they just jumped around from person to person, day, day to day, and they didn't really stay in a relationship long term. Mrs. McKee came off as a little bossy as she was always telling Mr. McKee to take pictures and all, and he did really care about his photography and his art but he didn't really need her suggestions all the time like she always thought mrs mckee had a mrs mckee had a specific stand for female choice in marriage um, she states that she'd probably still marry the man that was after her for years if she hadn't met chester um, this is in opposition to what Catherine said that nobody forced her sister to marry George Wilson. Um, this is kind of contradicting what Lucille said, basically saying that nobody really forced her to marry that man that had been after her for years, even if she had met Chester or not. Chester McKee was very devoted to try and develop his business, he is mocked by Tom when he asks for his support and says, all I ask is that they should give me a start. Tom kind of mocks him since he's been rich his whole life and he doesn't really know how it is to grind and work hard for your money day in and day out like Mr. McKee has to. Instead of Tom taking Mr. McKee seriously, he just deflects it and he suggests that Myrtle should help Mr. McKee. This insults Myrtle, but it isn't really noted by anyone apart from Catherine, who really changes the subject and gets back on the topic of unhappy marriages. Nick is kind of taken back by the McKee couple, since it will, they aren't the typical couple you would see in the 1920s. Mr. McKee was a little bit more feminine, and he liked art and photography, which is nothing wrong with that. But you look back at 1920s and you see all the men going to World War One and fighting in the war and eventually going to World War Two. Like you don't really see artists like as the big picture in your mind when you think of that time period. And Mrs. McKee was also a very loud and Fitzgerald describes her as downright horrible. And I think this adds an effect for the reader to understand how reversed the relationship may seem as Mrs. McKee may be seen as more masculine due to her emotions and her controlness over Mr. McKee. 
I definitely think they represent more than we realize since they're only in a little bit of chapter two and that marks a little part of the book. I definitely think Fitzgerald added them into the book to show that everybody doesn't have to be the same stereotypical couple. Like everybody can be their own person and everybody's unique. Like we don't have to all be the same person, do the same job, work the same nine to five. Like we can all do whatever we want with our life. This theme is a little more evident nowadays as people are truly starting to step out of their comfort zone and do what they truly love, not just to make money and be miserable, like do what they love and what their passion is rather than sit in a desk all day and make a little bit more money or less money. The McKees left a everlasting impression on me and it made me realize even more that I can be anybody I want to be and I can do whatever I want to do with my life and as long as I'm loving what I'm doing life's great um thank you uh for listening to my lecture have a great day